Hey, what's up, Andrew from X? Tech Fanation from AndroidRoots.com with me the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. And today's gonna be another round review of TSM Jelly B or Jelly B TSM, whatever you want to call it. So let's head down to settings, and then as you can see, it's green navigation bars because I was already messing with it and seeing what it offers. So let's go into about phone, and right there, you'll see it's running on the latest Galaxy Nexus 4.2. You got Jelly Bean version, Jelly Bean TSM 8.5 as well. You got Bill version, Kernel version, and everything else if you're interested in that as well. So, since we got that out of the way, and as you can see, it has a red effect when it, uh, the glow when I press on it. You may be pick, able to pick that up, maybe not. But that's another awesome feature. We'll get into that in a little bit. But first of all, I want to uh, give you a nice little feature. It gives you a little bit of taste of 4.2. Uh, you may have been reading in the news or um, just hearing about it from your friends that there has been a lot of leaks of wallpapers, cameras, all that other good stuff for 4.2. And this phone does give you an offer of the camera and the wallpapers. So first, as you can see, the background wallpaper, that is a 4.2 wallpaper. Let's go into wallpapers right now and look at some other ones. So you may be familiar with some of them because they already came with uh, Jelly Bean normally. But some of them are new from 4.2 as this one. Uh, this one is as well. Uh, this one, I may be, I, I don't think so it is. Um, this one could be, I can't remember all of them, but I do remember two of them are in here. Um, that are from uh, Jelly Bean 4.2. So you can just see all of them. You can take a quick look. So I do really like this rhyme because it gives you a little taste of 4.2 while actually putting all the leaks and all the keyboards and everything else in here. So after the wallpapers, there's one more other 4.2 feature, which is the camera app. So yes, this is the 4.2 camera that does come with Photospear. So we'll test it out in a little bit. Let's just head it down. Okay, it's already set up on Photospear because I was just trying it out just to make sure it's all working. So first you have to align it. So let me just put my Galaxy S3 and my Galaxy Nexus case in the background so you can just get a little feel of it. I am not going to be spending a lot of time on this because you've probably seen tons of videos. I'm sorry about the weird angles, but you've probably seen tons of angles on this. So I'm just going to uh, do a little quick video. Um, and it is pretty work. Uh, it works decent. It's not, I'm not going to say it's going to work. It's working perfectly. Uh, they still do have to tweak it until they can get it just right. But I was taking a. I was doing this with my room, and I was getting some weird lines. So why isn't that one working? There we go. But so as you can see, it's working. Um, you got the whole. Whoa, it looks pretty cool. Um, you got the whole thing. Um, as you can see, it's a little messed up, but it will get better once you start rendering it. So keep that in mind. Um, it works really well as well. So as you can see, you can still do it sideways, too. So um, it works really well. I'm just gonna exit this app because I don't want to waste a lot of time on it because you've probably seen a lot of news on it and just heard a lot about it and a lot of videos on this already. So as you can see, that's another two of the 4.2 features: the wallpaper and the camera. Um, I did look at the keyboard and it is not it's not included from 4.2. So um, yeah, but that's all right. So let's go to settings and see some of the customization options now. Since we got a feel of 4.2 on this RAM, which is really cool, which is nice as well. So if you don't want to install the zip files separately and you just want to install RAM instead, definitely check get this RAM because you're going to love it. Let's go into TSM controls and right there you can get a lot of options. Performance, general UI, power menu, lock screen navigation. Let's just do a couple of them because I don't want to waste a lot of time. As you've probably seen this a lot of times, but it's great. On demand right now. If you're the type of person who likes a lot of speed and performance, you guys can be choosing performance. So now performance is going to go to the max. So let's move that to current max, 1800. So it's going to max it out and it's going to be super quick. Like super quick. Obviously it's not going to be super quick like this because the animations are going to slow it down. Let's go back. You can have to change your performance to your liking. If you want to say battery, you're probably going to, you're going to choose conservative. On demand, it's just going to be regular. And performance is going to be for you if you are gaming. So let's choose. Let's just go to navigation bar because I just showed you green. So you actually have, uh, let's go to navigation color. You can change it to whatever you like. Let's change it to a little bit of orange. You got a little orange now. And the navigation glow, let's change it to green. Green. So now when you press it, you'll get a green effect after it. So really awesome effect as well. So let's actually choose, let's change one more thing. Um, let's be a little fun with this and the back button will be screenshot. So now when I press the back button, it's replaced by screenshots. So whenever I tap on it, I'll get a screenshot. So as you can see right there, really nice, quick, easy feature. It's very convenient if you do take a lot of screenshots on your Galaxy Nexus. And it's very just nice to have just in general. Instead of pressing the home, 
home button, volume up, and power button, I believe it is. Not correct. <clears throat> let's go into battery, and let's change the battery color. I actually changed this to red, but as you can see, it's still on blue. I don't know if it's a problem or it has to be charging. Something like that, but let's try it one more time. Let's change it to orange. And it still does not change. Um, could be just something wrong with it. Not really sure. Um, let's go and change... LED. Let's, uh, we all like to change LEDs. Um, LED on. Let's change it to three seconds and LED off for one second. So it's going to be a lot quicker. As you can see, there's an example of it right there. So it's going to be very quick, and that's going to be an example you'll see on your device on your Galaxy Nexus on the bottom. And we can obviously change the brightness. You can change the medium, laser beam even, <laughs> and has to grant um, super user access as well but it does come pre-rooted so you don't have to worry about that as well so you have to change it um actually the, i don't there usually is um let's actually test led oh, okay um okay so we're gonna turn off our screen and should the led should be working so let's give that a few seconds hopefully it does work i'm not very sure if it's gonna work Alright, it's not working, that's alright. Uh, you do get a feel about the LEDs and all that. Um, we can, uh, let's just choose one more. Let's go to lock screen. And change the lock screen text color. You can uh, There's a lot of color changing in this ROM, which I like. Because it gives you a nice theme. You can do a nice theme effect. And as you can see, it's all green. My uh, navigation bars are orange. And I, I got rid of my clock, if you didn't notice that earlier. But my clock is gone as well. So that's about it guys, thanks for watching, um, very good RAM, highly recommend you get it, um, gives you a lot of customization and um, many other things as well. Thanks for watching, please don't get subscribed if you already haven't, give me a big old thumbs up as well. I'll see you next video and don't forget to check out AndroidRoots.com for many other RAM reviews, trolls and all this on your Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy S3, T989, Nexus 7 and many other devices to come as well. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next video, enjoy your Galaxy Nexus. And a little bit of feel of 4.2 and a 4.1.2 Jelly Bean Ram. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see ya. Yeah.